So just looking, I mean, even through this journey, and I mean, because I'm, I'm, you know, the, what you've been going through from when she was very young, mm. um, even you for mom, what, what have the biggest challenges been so far? The biggest challenges I'm having with uh, staying with a child who is sick and mentally retarded, you have to take her to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You can't leave her alone. Yeah. You'll get that she, maybe she got the feet, she broke things in the houses, maybe even she's hurt. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm walking, I have to be with her. Yeah. Another challenge, people outside there, they are taking advantages of people with mental disability, especially oh, no. the girls. Yeah. I've been to the to Nairobi Women's mm -hmm. for two times. Mm -hmm. One was a tent rape, the other one she oh, was no. raped. So, oh, no. so I, since then I learned that I, don't, I can't leave this child alone. Yeah. I have to be always with her. Did you report the cases? I reported the case. There was a very Good, nice OCS I found at Modangari mm. by that time. Mm -hmm. He's the one who referred me to a special school at Tika, although yeah. she passed away. May God rest his peace in his soul in internal peace because yeah, he was a very good gentleman and mm. he helped me. And he told me, Madam, you'll be in this office of mine very often now and then. So the best thing is just take this child to a special school mm -hmm. and always be together with this child wherever she is. Mm. So since that time, mm -hmm. I've never left her alone. I've tried to do some work, but yeah. you, 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 feel you reach a point you can't continue That's because you can't leave her alone. Yeah. I've tried to employ house girls to come and help me so that I can, I'm the breadwinner. Yes. I have to, I'm a single mother. I have to cater for her and the, and the siblings. So you bring a, if you bring a house girl, you tell her the condition of my child is A, B, C, D. And you have to take her to the bathroom. She has to take medicine and mm -hmm. this and this. So you get that the girls don't understand her. Yeah, and they, they feel like it's a bother. They feel, they feel it's a bother, mm -hmm. taking a big person to the bathroom. Mm. In fact, you can see when, when you're walking on the way or you're doing some work, you, you see somebody telling me, why can't she help you? Oh. Why can't she help you? Mm. Why are you doing the work alone? So mm. people don't really, don't don't really understand understand, yeah. understand them. So if you look at her, you see he, she's just a normal girl. Mm -hmm. But after you stay with her, you'll know that you, she has problems. You'll notice. So the, I've seen that the people outside there, especially when you're not in, with your child, they are not able to take care of, the ch of your child. Yeah. Another thing I've noticed, no one is willing to stay with her. So wherever I go, mm -hmm. I have to. In fact, there's a man who asked me, where is your sister today? You've not talked with her. Mm. I told him, that's not my sister. That's my daughter. Mm. And the thing that makes me to work with her, it's yeah. ABCD. Yeah. So since then, mm -hmm. he just he just after he just has to come and greet me wherever he sees me. Hey, how mm. are you? How is your daughter? Yes. So we get challenges. People with child with disability there are some challenges struggle. you face outside, outside there yeah mm. yeah and uh, and and right now i'm just wondering if for you you're saying you're the breadwinner but you have to be everywhere with her mm. so so what are you doing as mom have you been able to find something to do as you're still balancing taking care of our uh, dear sheila it's still a challenge mm. because uh, maybe lack of capital, enough capital. Yes. And uh, you have to do some. Okay, I, I've looked for a, for a way of getting my daily bread. Wow. By, okay, I, I make detergent. Okay. I take to some to some hotels mm. and I have to go with her with, yeah. with my detergents I take there. So you make so them at the, home? The, the small profit I'm earning, mm -hmm. it's what I sustain my family oh, with. Oh wow, yeah. wow, that's, that's powerful because mm. I can imagine the exhaustion and you So it, at times you get that if she's not feeling well, mm -hmm. you can, you have an order, you can't go, go you have yes. to stay. So it's just, it just goes like that way. Mm -hmm. You go back to the person, you will maybe want to, to, to supply more products. He tells you, I, you didn't bring the time I needed. I've taken another person. Oh, so no. that, uh, that yeah. one goes just like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But is the business growing? Are you getting more um, people ordering? Mm, there are still more challenges because mm. I, as, as I had told you, capital yeah. is one of the challenges. 
Okay, the time also. Maybe you tell yes. me, let's meet at such and such a time. Mm. I can't make it. Yeah, that particular Maybe you, time. You, you want to go, you've just left the house and she gets fit. You have yeah. to go back to the house. Okay. And you postpone whatever you, you yeah. were going. Okay. So you, we get challenges. Yeah. Mm.